It's DIY creating with Mary. How's everybody doing? I just thought I would jump on today because I realized that I did not um, show you all how to add a bow to our little final craft project. Okay, so I wanted to go over that. Um, I thought that might be helpful. So today's bow, we're going to do a simple bow. Uh, next week, um, when I get a bow, an official bow maker, we're going to do some more complex bows because I think they add a really, really, really nice touch to your creation, okay? Um, and um, we will, I, I'll show you how to do that. And first, I wanted to see these are our bow components. And then the second thing I wanted to tell you real quick, and we're going to go over this next week, we're going to do a project with this, previews of coming attractions. I wanted to show you this. Do you see this? This is basically a watercolor image. And I got this image off of um, Creative Fabrica because um, I have a membership there so I can use them, uh, the files for um, I license. I have license use with them. So I wanted to show you this because I was very excited. I don't know if you guys remember. We had done a um, we had done a um, decoupage product and we used I'll show you this we used a napkin right so I decided I went on a quest and I was looking around for more napkins to do some more decoupage projects and I realized that I have to buy a pack of fifty napkins to get a decoupage product um, to get to get to get like one napkin that I need. And they don't sell, napkins are generally sold like in sets, all the same. So I really didn't need 50 pumpkins. So I was wondering if there was a better way. And lo and behold, there is a better way. So I wanted to just show you this very briefly. So, and I will go over this more next week. Um, but I wanted to show you this uh, because this is very cool. So I'm going to grab a pair of scissors. What you do here is you take a piece of tissue paper. And I know this sounds kind of crazy, but hear me out. You are going to iron it as flat as you can, okay? You're going to get it as flat as you can. You're going to use a Cricut mini press or a mini iron, and you're going to and you're going to iron out your tissue paper. Or you can get, if you get new tissue paper, it's going to be pretty flat. And you are going to tape it to an eight and a half by eleven. Um, piece of paper. I have a thicker paper here that I use and you are going to feed it into your printer and you can print any image you want. And so you're thinking, well, that's great. How am I going to use it for a decoupage? Well, you are going to use it for decoupage in the following way because the, the these I basically taped the edges of the tissue paper to the um, paper and I'm going to take a scissors and cut around this and you can then use just this image for decoupage. You can print any image. I went for a watercolor one, um, and it is incredibly. I did a I did a photo quality print on my printer, so I did like a manual feed through my printer, and I I have a very simple inkjet printer, and it really printed really really clear. So you can then we're gonna take the backing of the paper off. We're gonna we're gonna cut around it. And you're going to have a tissue paper printed image. And then you can do decoupage. So no longer do you have to scout around for napkins every day. Um, if you want to do decoupage, you can actually print them uh, on your tissue paper. So I have a Canon inkjet printer. Um, that's what I use for this. Okay, I also have a laser printer. But for this, I did a manual feed through my um, laser printer. And it worked out fantastically I must say I was a little surprised it's very vivid I don't know if you can see the colors there see the pumpkins they're really vivid so we can simply decoupage this to any surface now uh, and we're gonna do that next week and I will take it apart and I'm gonna I'm gonna I will cut this apart and next week and I'll show you how we're gonna decoupage this but I must say I was just taking a rough uh, I was just winging it I was trying to just and look at that look how vivid that is it is pretty amazing and if you'll recall the day the um when you decoupage it it pops the colors more and the colors are pretty brilliant already so holy smokes is that going to be uh pretty viv pretty vivid there so i wanted to show you that because you can do this on your own now you don't have to scout out 
napkins at the Dollar Tree anymore uh, and find, you know, kind of get deal with their pictures. You can find your own pictures. Any clip art, if you have clip art, if you like clip art, I have a membership to uh, to a site, Create a Fabric Out, for I think it's like $60 for the whole year. I get as many files as I want. Best subscription <laughs> ever, I might add. Um, it was a great deal. I could not pass it up, and I have gotten more than my money's worth out of this. So, see, that is really cool. So, you can put that, you know, we're going to decoupage that on um, any surface, right? You can put that on any surface. You can put that on a back of your door hanger, whatever you want, okay? So, keep that in mind, okay? I just wanted to throw that out there because I think that is pretty amazing. So, um, you do not need to scout out napkins anymore. Uh, and you can have a very nice final looking product that looks ultra professional um, and you can decoupage that on any surface and we're going to go over that too next week. So I'm going to save this for next week, but I wanted to show you this because I will tell you this is very, very, very cool. So you can print any picture. Want a picture of your kid, want a picture of your dog, um, you want a picture of a, like, I kind of like the watercolor, and look at the pumpkins. I really like those. They're very, I don't know if the um, video here is doing it justice, but these are very crisp photos. Really nice. Very nice quality photos. So yay on that. And all you use, I just used existing tissue paper that I had. See, that's just white tissue paper. And I'm going to step through this process and, and show you how to do this, Okay. Um, so keep that in mind as well. I'll, I'll go through the whole process and we will talk about it, okay? And I'll show you all you need to do. And it's very affordable, not expensive to do. So, um, anyways, um, I'm okay. The next thing I wanted to show you guys is we are going to do um, put a bow on this. I'm going to show you guys how to make a bow on this, okay? Um, and I did learn a new tidbit that if you want to um, for these reusable services. Sometimes it's a good thing to put a, a layer of clear polyacrylic on there if you want to reuse the surface that will help you, okay? So keep that in mind as well, okay? Uh, and we'll go over this, but for now, I'm going to really quickly show you how I made a, um, how I can make, we can put a bow in here. So I'm going to flip the camera and show you that, okay? And we'll do more bow making next week, but I did want to show you, um, this week, okay? I did want to show you a quick method uh, to do this week. And, and it's not a perfect method, but it will kind of help us um, jazz up our little door hanger, okay? So I'm gonna flip the camera, uh, and I'm gonna show you, oh, oh no, I almost hit finish. That's not bad, we don't, we don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna flip the camera here. Okay, now I'm going to just kind of go overhead and we're going to see if we can get this there we go i'm getting very i'm getting much better with this camera guys okay so I'm, i want to show you so this is what we're trying to put a bow on okay so what i did is i took we have all these um the uh these bows okay this is the dollar tree is your friend i have lots of different bows here or lots of different ribbon okay and and I would say do not be afraid to mix um prints and solids okay and 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 so here I'll show you this so what I did is I kind of cut pieces and I'm thinking I tend to think we're going to probably want to put them on the side okay and we can trim these down to size okay but I wanted to show you so I took and I and I cut I asked estimated what I think we're going to need. Okay. And we can, I, I think it's a good idea to make these a little longer than you think you're going to need. Cause then other, so you can trim them down. Okay. Cause better to have them too short than too long. Right. So, and then the other thing we did is I had this greenery just, I literally, it was sitting in a plant in my house. It's eucalyptus. So, <laughs> So I borrow things that I have around the house and I recycle them. So um, I wanted to show you that as well. And then I think we're going to do this, um, this. We have this little piece of twine here that we're going to use. Um, you can use a, a twist tie. Um, there's lots of things you can do. So don't ever worry about that. So um, one thing we are going to do here is we're going to lay these out and we're going to see 
if we want to, if we put this bow, say, say we decide to put the bow like right here. I think it's a little bit too big. So I think we're gonna trim it down, okay? And we, or we could put it here. If you wanna cover those words or you can put it there, whatever you want. Some people like it off to the side. Some people like it on front. Um, but I'll show, we can, we can decide what we're gonna do. But I do think it is a little too long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim a little bit off the end here. Okay, so this is a this is a print. This is really pretty. That goes really nice. Don't be afraid to mix your prints and your solids, okay? So I am going to trim this off. Easier said than done for some reason. Okay, my scissors are being uncooperative today. And then I'm going to go, okay, does that look good or is that still? All right, let's run with that and see how we like that. And then you're going to fold this in half. And you're, and you're just going to do a, a, a shortcut. Wow, my scissors don't want to cooperate today. So see that? You're going to have a... Um, these are my really sharp scissors, and they're being difficult. So um, you want to have a uh, like a triangle here. See, you want to... So you're going to fold this in half and just trim this off, okay? And like I said, my scissors are being very uncooperative today. So... Um, Sometimes if I get, oh yeah, I don't know why they're being uncooperative. Okay, so you're going to do that, and you're just going to trim this off, okay? And, you, and you're going to do like a, like you're going to angle inward, okay? So see this? Um, you're going to do, just gonna, you're just going to kind of cut that. And it's going to make like, kind of like the, the end of the ribbon, see that? It's just going to make it have a little bit nicer of a look, okay? So let's see if we like the length of that. This is kind of how I do this process. I go, does that look good? Let's see. I kind of eyeball it, okay? So that's what I do. And there are many, many different ways to do this. Um, but you're going to want to see, and then I just kind of look at it, and I go, yep, yeah, that looks pretty good. I definitely eyeball a lot of things. So now I'm going to do the same. And I, you might want to make... Um, you could make, they don't all have to be exactly the same length. As a matter of fact, I recommend you don't because it kind of gives it a little bit, a little bit more like texture versus if they're all just uniform and um, that's no fun. So kind of want to keep it interesting looking. And you are going to just kind of do this. So you're just folding it in half. I know I'm doing this and maybe I'm not explaining this clearly, but you're folding it in half and you are, you are kind of getting that, okay? So you're kind of getting this look. And so I'm just going to kind of go, okay, yeah, that looks good because this one's a little longer. I like that. Then I'm going to do my next one. And now something else you can keep in mind. This one I think is a little long, not too long. But um, something else you can keep in mind is the text, the one you want to show at the front of the bow, you want to be the shortest, okay, So because you, you can see it. So it's kind of a, like a layering. So that's kind of how I do it. Everybody does it different. So I'm going to look at this one. This one, I think, is probably still too long. Probably a little bit too long. So I'm going to trim a little bit off the other end here. And I'm just going to... I Honestly, I eyeball this, guys. I don't really have any special <laughs> technique that I use. But I tend to think that you want to go from smaller to bigger, Okay. And, and so see how that, that I think that that's pretty good. So then I'm going to fold this in half. And these, these ribbons are really good. They're really nice ribbons. They are all, um, I find all my, a lot of my ribbon at the famous Dollar 25 tree. Because um, Dollar 25 tree, you can get, I think there's nine feet of ribbon in these. Nine feet. For dollar twenty-five, that is a pretty sweet deal. So um, that's that's normally where I go um, for my ribbon, and they always have a ton of assortments. Okay, so see what I'm doing here? I'm just kind of cutting these, and I'm just kind of and see. Look at this. Look at this. This looks crazy. Look at all the different patterns, but it actually looks pretty good. So now I'm going to decide if I want to use this last one. Okay, so. I'd say you usually want to stack three or four. You can do, th and, and if you want to also vary the size of these, like you want some thinner ones, that's, you can do that too, okay? So um, I think sometimes it is a good idea to have like a twist tie, uh, and then you wrap the twist tie, and then you can, um, you can then um, cover over it with, 
piece of twine. So, like that. Okay? So I'm going to look at this last one, and I'm going to debate. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that one. So I'm going to leave this one. So I'm kind of gradually increasing the size from smaller to bigger. That's just how I do it because I think it looks kind of nice, um, and I think it just looks kind of interesting. So again, I'm going to fold this in half. I'm going to trim off this end, and I'm just going to make it look a little more engaging okay a little more interesting so i'm going to do the same with the other side this is not a perfect science okay um you just want to get it so that it looks kind of like a messy bow messy bow but an organized bow in a strange way so and i do like these ribbons because um they have this wire i don't know if you can see this but this wire is perfect to help shape them okay so and then i'm going to throw in some greenery too okay now, I do have to invest in something called raffia, which I didn't know what that was. I knew what it was, but I never knew what it was called. So I thought I, I learned that that is called raffia. So um, it's, it's like straw. It kind of reminds me of straw. Okay, so I'm just kind of pinching these together with my fingers. And honestly, I am just kind of tucking and blending them together. I, there's not a, you're just kind of pinching them and you're kind of folding them over in like a fan type of a motion. See that? You're just kind of, kind of getting those together. Oh, I really like that combination. That's really pretty. See, I like that. And if you, if it's too big and you're like, oh my gosh, this is too big. Um, you know what? I might ditch this one for a minute. Let's try this one. Yeah, I think I like that. Okay. So I, I'm doing a solid and two prints, which I know you're thinking, oh my gosh, that looks crazy. But you know what? It doesn't really look crazy because it kind of will all blend together, okay? So you're going to take these and you're just going to kind of pinch them in the center. And then you're going to, um, you can uh, adjust them when you get done. So don't worry about that. Okay, I think I'm just going to do the three, okay? So we got our orange, we got our print, and we got our print. We have a different prints, but the prints all kind of have the same colors in them. So I know that seems kind of crazy, but we're going to live on the edge, okay? So now I, I might throw in a little greenery back here because I think that looks kind of fun. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that too. See that? Darn, that looks spiffy. Okay, so now here's the tricky part. Um, I am not prepared with a, um, I should have had a, um, what do you call it? A twist tie. Like, like the, you can get like the Ziploc ties or the twist ties. That would have been ideal for what I, I'm trying to accomplish here. But you know, I like to live on the edge. So I of course didn't have one of those, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this. This is just, um, twine that I happen to have on hand and I'm just going to tie that okay um, and ideally I'm just going to tie it in a tight in a knot and don't worry you can adjust all this so no worries um, and I can by the way this eucalyptus smells really nice so and then I'm just going to wrap this around because I'm tr going to try to hide the little knot I made okay so I'm just going to Wrap this around, okay? All right, see, see, now that kind of hid my knot. See? And, and again, you can take your scissors and you can, um, you can adjust, you can trim, you can't, that's why I always say start out with the ribbon a little longer than you need because you can't add to the ribbon, but you can definitely take away from the ribbon. So now I am going to glue this. I'm going to take my glue gun and I'm going to glue this, okay? So I'm going to go on the back here and I'm just going to glue my ribbon, okay? And I definitely recommend that you um, be careful because the glue gun is blazing hot. I, I tend to burn myself with it sometimes, but you know, try to avoid that if you can. So I'm going to just kind of let this sit there, okay? Yeah, it's really hot. The glue gun is hot, okay? And then you you can let that sit for a minute. And we're just going to let that, um, see that little blob there? We're going to let that sit there for a minute. And, and then we're going to add more, and we're going to put it here, okay? And like I said, if you want to trim the bow, you can. 
I am a, I'm, I am a, I used to be a very asymmetrical bow person. Now I'm changing my ways to the more asymmetrical look. Um, for the purposes of this one, and again, we can trim this, we can make this smaller, whatever, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it on there and see how we like it. I am going to aim for the right side here, okay? Um, so we're gonna do that, okay? So I'm gonna put some more glue on there. Glue gun is your friend, okay? Definitely want to use the glue gun. Um, and I know there's some automated. I've seen some very um, fancy. Sh I'm gonna I'm gonna hide this wording for now, just because I want to kind of sh show you how this works. Yeah, don't, and don't do that where you just stick your hand in the glue like I just did. But I kind of wanted to show you. Hold it down for a couple minutes. Now, here's something to note too, okay? If you ever want to um, remove the bow, you can do that too. All you do is you're gonna take a glue gun, or not a glue gun, you're gonna take a, um, you are going to take a air, uh, hair dryer and you're gonna put it on high and you're gonna put it over this. And that is going to help you um, loosen the glue and you can take it off and you can replace it with another bow. Okay, now you're going to take your hand and you're just gonna style this guy however you want like I'm gonna curl under his edges because I think that might look kind of cute okay you can, and the, the because this these bows have wire in them I definitely like the ones with the wire by the way um, you can do that you can style this so that you can kind of curl it up or down you can trim it and you can kind of get the bow to where you want it okay it's kind of a big bow but it's okay I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I can bend it under. See, I can kind of tuck it under and make it look a little smaller. And then I have my greenery there. See that? See, see how the colors all kind of blend? That does not look crazy. See, even though you got all your prints, it kind of works together. And again, you can trim this off. See, you're like, oh, I don't like that there. You can just go in and you can just trim it, okay? And, 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 and do it and, and it's gonna be fine. I know I'm covering the wording there, but I kind of just wanted to show you and you can put the bow up, you can put the bow wherever you want, okay? Um, but I wanted to kind of show you you could um, you could also have put this bow at the bottom by the way. I, I should have showed that, but you can definitely put it down here. I think these plain bows look better on the top and I think there's a bigger bow you can make um, that has more of like the it's kind of like a if you were to you know, a, like a, a gift if you were wrapping a gift it would be that kind of a bow I think that kind of a bow looks better here so um, we can try that some we can try that too and I'm gonna invest in a bow maker and we can go over that and I will show you how to make bows because um, it's something that I've always wanted to do too so I'm gonna learn how to make a bow too but you see how we did that we just layer it we tie it with twine if you have a zip tie, you can put the zip tie on first and then do the twine and then you can um, and then you can wrap the twine around it to hide it, okay? And then you just you just use your glue gun and you can um, you can stick your bow on. You could go here, here, up on the top or on the side. It, it really any which way you like it. Uh, and then we have our greenery and you can always you could always drop more greenery. I kind of like the one the one set of greenery and again you know you can move this all around you can adjust it so then you have kind of your bow like that okay and again you can curl it you can do whatever you want with it uh, you can trim it if you like it smaller or larger that that's a beautiful thing that's why I recommend see like if I want it a little smaller I just curl it under like that okay so I wanted to show you that okay so um, that kind of finishes off your project, okay? And like, and if you need to take it off, you get a blow dryer, put it on high heat, and there you go. So off it goes. So let me just go back over this. I used this and this, and I also used this. Uh, I recommend, you can definitely mix your prints. Definitely, definitely, I recommend it. Um, if you can, just make sure that there's some of the same colors in the prints. Like you don't want, you know, pumpkins and, you know, pink unicorns. You might not want something like that. Okay. So, um, just keep that in mind. All right. Um, 
But that is the kind of the final product, and these are really, really easy to make. And you can use things that you have around your house, and you can use very simple um, things from the Dollar Tree. But I definitely recommend mixing up some patterns and some colors. But if you'll see what I did here, and by no means am I a color expert, but I have learned a couple things. So all you want to do, see how you have uh, yellow, green, and orange. And then pretty much in here, you have yellow, green, and orange. You have the same colors. And in here is orange. That's why these all go very well, okay? Um, so this one uh, is, this one, kind, oh yeah, see like this and this one would work because you have similar colors. Um, and I would not use, I would not, here, here, I'll give you a good example. I would not use these two because these are kind of conflicting plaids, okay? So that's why I would use, though, I would use all these together and I would use all these together, okay? So just keep that in mind, all right? And then the one that you want on top, uh, when you do your layering, whatever one you want people to see the most, you put on top, okay? And you just kind of crinkle it together. Like if you were making, I don't know if you remember making the fans with paper, but you kind of like you, you kind of fold them back and forth. That's kind of what you do here, okay? And then um, you can fix this any way you want, but definitely blend in different colors and then if you want to pull in, see how it pulls in the yellow here and the in the in the lighter brown here, and it all goes, which is pretty cool because you uh, a lot of times I think uh, people are afraid to mix mix different colors. Like I used to be like, oh gee, I don't want to mix these two colors. You know, look at those. But guess what? They look really good together. So um, just keep that in mind, okay? Um, the, that uh, you can mix colors and, and you can make some really pretty stuff, all right? So uh, I wanted to show you that. So I think I'll probably be back on live this weekend uh, for sure. And I think I will show you some more about this fun, how to do this type of a thing with decoupage, okay? And I'm also going to show you um, some other new stenciling that I got. Um, and we can go over that. I have a lot of fall slash Thanksgiving ones, so uh, keep that in mind, okay? Um, I will be on probably Saturday or Sunday, and then I will try to go on during the day next week and kind of show you um, some other different techniques, okay? So, but how cute is that? I like the bow. So, I don't know if I can get that, there we go. So, that is ultra pretty. Um, and I, and again, you can hang this, you know, and I know I'm covering the letters, so I know that, but this does have a little bead thing. So you can, you could put the bow here if you wanted, but I just wanted to show you how to do that real quick with the bow. And we'll go over that again, because I think that's some t I just made that one really quick. Okay. But we can go over that in more detail and I can step you through the process. Okay. Um, so I will be, uh, hang on, I'm going to. Flip the camera back over here. Okay, I'm getting better with the camera. Not great, but um, I, I'll show you some more stuff. Um, and we will go over, um, hang on, there we go. So I will, here, I'm gonna show you this from this angle. See that how pretty that looks? Got a nice little bow. So I'm a lefty, so I tend to put everything on the wrong side. <laughs> So anyways, uh, but you know, you can put the bow wherever you want. So keep that in mind, okay? Um, but I think this kind of finishes it off really nice, okay? It, it, you can put it here, here, on the side, on the side, um, you know, things like that, okay? Um, so more to follow. Uh, I will be back on, um, like I said, next week or Sunday. I will be back on... I think Saturday or Sunday I will, and we will go over some more stuff, but I did want to kind of show you this um, and show you. So I hope you enjoyed that, making the bow. I'm going to get an official bow maker, and it is, um, we're going we're gonna to go over that. Um, bow Dabra, I think is the name of it. So um, we, will, uh, we, will <laughs> we will go over that, okay? So, um... And, and we can add that. That does kind of provide a complete look to all of your crafts, okay? Um, you don't have to put bows on everything, but you can put bows on some things, and it looks really nice. So um, I will talk to you later. Have a great weekend, okay?
and thanks for watching. If you could do me a favor and sprinkle or S H A R E um, the uh, videos, uh, it would really help my algorithms pick up so I can have more people watching. Um, share with all of your crafty friends. Um, I would appreciate it, okay? Uh, and get the word out, okay? Um, I will talk to you on probably Saturday or Sunday, okay? Thank you for watching. Um, have a great Friday and enjoy the absolutely fantastic weather. Bye-bye. Talk to you soon.